Hi guys, welcome to ET Land. Have you already received your ROG ally? I haven't. My unit was sent yesterday night and I haven't received any updates ever since then. So I'm super um, excited and I really can't wait to receive it. So in today's video, we are going to look at three things that we can actually do to prepare for the arrival of our best gaming handheld PC in 2023. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the things that we should probably buy for our ROG Ally. First thing first, the most important thing is the screen protector. You don't want to scratch your screen or just break your screen on day one. So that is the most, most, most important thing that you really gotta get. And the second thing I will suggest you to get is the SSD. Since it is a very powerful gaming handheld, we are going to build a large library for our games. So eventually 512 gigabytes will not be enough. So you may think, oh, it's quite expensive and difficult to get a two terabyte. So I'm going to get a one terabyte SSD. But I would suggest no, I would suggest you should go all the way to 2 terabytes because for our OG Ally, we are very likely to use it for a longer time though, so the lifespan would be a few years and nowadays those AAA games are being larger and larger. One terabyte will not be enough in any sense. So if you have to buy another SSD, that would be another investment that you have to spend. And that is not really wise. I know it is quite expensive to get a two terabyte SSD in the US or, the can or in Canada. But in Japan, it's not as expensive. So I just directly get a two terabyte and I can't wait to swap the SSD directly on day one. And another thing that I suggest you to get a SSD just on day one, because if you have any data stored on your ROG Ally, then you have to spend the time to restore them on your new SSD and that would be super troublesome. So this is something that I suggest anyone to do on day one to avoid any inconvenience in the future. If you do not have the budget for a 2TB SSD and you really have to upgrade your storage, I would recommend you to go for a 1TB SD card instead of a 1TB SSD. That's because, first of all, for uh, micro SD cards, you can use it anywhere, like on tablets or on other devices. This is very um, common and it is very usable. So even if you are not happy with your ROG Ally and you decided to sell it, it still has its price and it is more applicable to other devices. But when we look at the SSD, there is a limit number of devices that are using the same kind of SSD. So I would say I would go for a one terabyte SD card instead of a one terabyte SSD. And um, I'm sure you probably have some SD cards at home that are not being used, for example, uh, the lower end one, like 256 gigabytes and stuff. So it is quite easy to swap a around different SD cards. So if you really don't have the budget, I would say I would prefer swapping SD cards instead of buying a one terabyte SSD. Well, unless that would be enough for you. But if not, I will try to make sure I can save some money and buy a two terabyte SSD instead of one terabyte. The next thing I strongly recommend you to get is a hub. So it really doesn't matter if it is for the Steam Deck or not, because it will also be applicable on the ROG Ally uh, because we are using USB-C port. So uh, the one of the thing that is very important when we choose the hub is that um, we should be careful about the power input, the maximum power input available supportable on that hub because like some of them only supports up to 60 
watts, which is lower than the maximum wattage of we have on the ROG Ally, so I would suggest you to get at least 65 volts uh, being supported by that hub, or if better, you can get up to 100 watts, so that we we will not um, overpower the hub and it will not get too hot. Another thing is that just make sure we have enough uh, USB ports at the back, so that uh, we will not run out with USB ports. And it will be great if we can find a product with the LAN cable support so that we can connect to the internet with LAN as well. The next item is optional. Um, when you want to travel, you should probably buy a case, a carrying case for your ROG Ally. However, um, there are not much of those cases in the market. And well, of course, if you have a Steam Deck already, you can use the Steam Deck case. But if you want to have a cuter or more aesthetic case that fits the ROG Ally, I would rather go for the official one or just wait a little bit longer until the third parties are going to release their own products. I don't know how it is in other regions, but for me, I'm living in Japan, so I'm buying my device from the official ASUS website, and they are actually having a promotion campaign that we can join. So as long as we write down a review of the unit on their site, they will give a give us a free uh, ROG Ally case, and I think that would be the deal. So I'm going to. Uh, write my review and get the free case for the time being and once when there are some more third-party cute cases in the future I will surely talk about that and I will probably find one so well I'm looking forward to the future release of those cases now we have talked about all the accessories that we can prepare for our ROG Ally and the next thing would be pre to prepare the files. What I'm trying to mean is that, well, you know, um, this channel is uh, more about emulation and gaming tutorials. So um, I have a bunch of retro games I have and I already put them on a SD card, on a one terabyte SD card that I can just plug them in uh, into the uh, ROG Ally so that I can play them once I've received my device and I strongly suggest you to do so. Other than the game file itself, uh, you also have to download the emulators if you want to do so. So uh, I have already summarized a list of links and useful files that you can use to set up your emulators beforehand. And I strongly suggest you to download that. You can find it on my page and uh, you can find the link in the description box. If you want to transfer your Steam games from your other PC to your ROG Ally, there is an easy way to do so. Go to where you install Steam. For example, most of the people will install to the default location, which I am showing you on the screen, and you can also find that in the description box. The common folder is where the Steam games are stored, and this common folder is located inside the Steam apps in the Steam folder, so you can find that if your location is not the default location. So when we go into the Steam apps folder, um, there are two types of things that we have to back up. First, the whole common folder and those ACF files at the bottom. So those ACF files are the files that allows the games to appear in our library. So as long as you back up those, it will appear in your library automatically. But you have to uh, restart your Steam, of course, but that is the easiest way to do so. 
finally, there are a lot of good articles on the ROG Ally official site that actually tells us how to set up the device, what is the tips, and what would be the best setup for the games. So those are very useful, and I think it would be great if you can familiarize yourself before getting the device so that you don't get handicapped when you receive it and you can go straight into the settings that are being optimized already so uh, that's the thing i suggest you to do and that's pretty much about today's video and i will make more tutorials on ROG Ally and talk about more about my daily life with this device so if you are interested in that please make sure you to subscribe to my channel and uh, I have to give a big shout out to Mikael who supports my channel a lot and became a member of my Kofi page. So there will be a lot more in-depth um, mods, tutorials and stuff like that on my page. Make sure you also check that and see you in my next video. Bye!